During the Progressive Era, many reforms led to a better society. In the early 20th century, there was a huge public health awakening. Many reforms were created to increase public health. People were astonished by Upton Sinclair's The Jungle, and this called for change. The Pure Food and Drug Act was passed in response to his book. Hand washing became a way to prevent many diseases and sicknesses in a food setting. The Minnesota Department of Health created a food code that outlined the cleaning procedure for anyone who handles food as well as the requirement of having hand soap or other cleaning agents. It required that food employees must wash their hands for at least 20 seconds on all exposed parts of the hands, especially underneath the fingernails. That's where we come in. We are Dana Connolly, Gina Spoden, and Nora Zaharsky. We went out into restaurants in the area to investigate whether or not these codes were being upheld in modern restaurants. We traveled to Subway, McDonald's, and Menda Berries in the Mendota Village to investigate these issues. We are now traveling to the Subway restroom and we can see that the signage on the door indicates that employees must wash their hands before they return to handling food. However, the code states that employees must wash their hands for at least 20 seconds, which was not indicated anywhere in the restroom. We can also see that the soap is clearly labeled as pure hand soap. We are now entering McDonald's. Although many people may think that McDonald's isn't very clean, we have found that they have represented every part of the code. They have clearly written on their soap bottle that you need to wash for 20 seconds. They also have the door labeled for employees as well as labels for both soap and hand lotion. We see the place is clean and things are marked very well. You can clearly see they adhere to the cold. We are now entering the Mendeberry's restroom. Although the counter is clean so that no possible bacteria may spread around, cleaning products are not very well labeled. A person wouldn't know whether the bottle by the sink or the rectangle on the wall was the soap. Food employees are required to wash with soap. Therefore, if the soap is not clearly marked, the employees could be washing their hands with a substance that doesn't kill all the germs from the food. There's also no sign indicating that employees need to wash their hands before they start working again. Today, we have seen many great examples of the codes being upheld. However, one place clearly didn't meet the requirements of the codes. In conclusion, we believe that the food codes in Minnesota are being upheld about half the time.